Today on CDS Farms, we have uh, we have an issue with some wild hogs, and we were fortunate enough to get one in our sights this morning. So we took it, and now we're going to skin it out, and we want to share it with you on how we do this. There's several ways to do this. Um, people like to take and strip them. We're going to skin ours more traditionally, just like you would maybe a deer if you were like out on the uh, countryside and you really didn't want to take the time to do all the individual stripping and the, and the time that it takes to do that. So we just roll the hide off in one piece and we're going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll sharpen my knives just a little bit, get them a little bit where they have a really good edge on them. Alrighty. So the way we're going to skin this is is we're going to skin it, the hide coming down. So that means I'm going to start getting the hide prepared for removal at the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to start here around the neck and I want to start skinning, getting the hide prepared. You want to cut from the inside out. Don't, don't try to cut from the outside in because if you do, it's going to immediately dull your knife. This, this hair is very bristly and it is thick and it will dull it, it will uh, remove the edge off of your knife and then you're having to resharpen. So cut from the inside out. The hide is still pretty tough. So now what I want to do is I want to come here at the feet. I'm going to pull these open in the same way, basically the way you would do a deer. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take, get the hide started here, and I'm going to cut around, and cut up, around this way. So now I've cut all the way around this leg, okay? Now I'm going to cut into the center of the bottom of the chest cap. Come to this side and do the same thing. <laughs> Once again, and I'm gonna meet this cut. So my next move is open up this piece down to this has got a uh, what some call the gut hook. I'm gonna take it and help me get this hide going so that I can pull this hide down here. Now I'm gonna use the rounded part of the tip that rounded part here where my thumb is, so that it doesn't cut into the hide too much, it doesn't cut into the meat. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna roll these off. And I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit. Mostly just the hide. You can see the hair follicles. This is the, the leather part. This is uh, mostly staying behind, so that means that we're keeping most of the fat and, and the stuff that most people desire to be with the hog, we're keeping that on the hog. Next move that I want to do, put that knife up, I'm going to get this knife here again. They can sharpen it just a little bit, make sure it's got a good edge on it. You always need to have a good edge. Sharp knife is what you need anytime you're going to be doing any kind of a skinning like this. Dull knives are give more of the possibility for you to get cut because a knife can hang and it slip and cut you. You need a sharp knife. We're going to leave that just like that for right now. Now I'm going to start up here because the next move is cut around, get the legs, get the hide down off of the hams, and then I'm going to open it up here and we're going to start just taking this hide and rolling it completely off and it's going to roll all the way down until it's off in one piece. We're going to do the same thing here up top take and we're going to be very careful you have to watch how you use your knife don't let the knife get away from you here because this is a very critical part to keep from messing up the animal and uh and not dropping it down you kind of like make sure that you're out of the way good it starts to be exposed there now 
when you're getting into the softer part of the hide again. It's really tough on the outer edges of them legs. As you can see now, I have cut that. Once again, being very careful, watch how the knife is moved. Don't let it get you. Okay, now my next move is, I'm gonna take, make my Y cut here, so that I can start working the hide off both ways. I'm gonna come from the back to do this. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for me. Can you hold that please? So what I'm gonna start doing is just literally start working the hide off as if, like if it was a deer. hide will start just pulling off. As soon as I get a little bit of it in my hands. Okay, now I want to take here and I want to cut from the tail up. Make my cut in here. Okay, so I'm going to pull the hide out a little bit and cut. Pull the hide out a little bit and cut. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make my initial cut in here. This is a cut that has the where the intestines come up from the inside out. Now I'm gonna switch knives. Take this knife here, a little edge on it. And I'm gonna start my cut here again, start working my way down. The hide is fixing to come off really quickly here. Now that we have some of the initial part here started, I'm going to move this down and then we're going to split down the belly and then we're fixing to take this hide off. Now that I've got this started, my next cut is going to be to cut the belly skin to split it and then the hide's coming off. Well, we just use the tip of my knife. You have to be careful here. You don't want to cut into the intestines. Start working this off very gently. Belly. Being very careful not to cut into the belly. Now our next move is to get started coming with the hide off the back, spin this around, and uh, in just a matter of a couple of minutes here, we'll have this completely off. I just took my knife and pushed it into between the vertebrae of the bone on the tail and just more or less severed it. So I'm going to try to get as much of this fat on here and leave it on the hog as possible. Like I said, the hog being warm, it's not as easy. Getting more of it coming off with the hide. So this is more of a dressing it like out in the field, so to speak. Thank you. The hide will roll off. All of our early preparation that we made on this hide, cutting it around the neck while the hide was intact all the way up the animal, that preparation now is helping us. Now it's paying off for us because now the hide's off that quick and that easy. Here, now on the head, we want to take and cut Cut all the way around. Get as much of the flesh cut out as we can. We should be able to take the head and snap it. Okay, there goes the head. Okay, so we went ahead and we removed the intestines uh, out of the animal. So now that we have the uh, animal ready for us to start uh, cutting in different parts. 
We're basically going to do this the same way as we would as we had skin it like we were going to skin a deer. We're going to cut this one up basically the same way we would if we were cutting up a deer. Hold that right there for me, please. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and remove the tenderloin the same way we would if it was a deer. Cutting down the spine, the backbone. Careful, do not get your fingers caught up under that blade because it's all tight quarters in here. It won't take much. You'll have a problem going on there with your hands. Safety first. Take it a little extra slow here. Just want to make sure I can get as much of this loin out as possible, not to leave it with the rest of the meat. even into what this area here is what's called the Boston butt area but I'm gonna cut this out because we're going we're going to use the loin for chops rather than into the Boston butt. Okay that's one loin right there. That there is center cut pork chops. All right, the other side. Again, very careful. Trying to keep as much meat as possible on the, the loin. Okay, my next move is, is I'm going to go ahead and just remove the shoulders. Being very careful not to cut. Front shoulder. My next move is, I'm going to, there is, this is your midland area, the belly, the loose belly part of the hog is the midland, which is bacon. So rather than, we've decided we're going to leave the midland, the bacon area, being that this was a smaller pig, you can see it's pretty thin right in here, so it really wouldn't make very good bacon. Probably would just be better to cook it along with the ribs and you can pull it apart and eat it to be very tender. So I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull this off and just cut it along with the ribs. So I'm gonna start cutting here at the ham area. Okay, I'm gonna cut down in. And I'm gonna come right here to where the ribs, as you see my ribs are starting, this is the backbone and the ribs are starting in this area here. So I'm going to cut and I'm going to just start popping them ribs. Popping them. You do, you, it is best to have something to saw them with. Um, so I've, I've cut one, I'm going to saw the rest because it makes it a little bit faster. This is your bacon area, the flabby. You can see where the ribs start. This is where, when you go and you buy that delicious smoked bacon, that's where it comes from, the middling area. All right, and we're just gonna do likewise over here. we have a good bit of meat on this, still on this. So if you want to, you can take and cut these in sections, which that's what we will do. We will save this section here. We will, we will 
discard this area from here to here. We will save this area right here. And, uh, and of course the neck, we're going to keep the neck. So I'm going, what I'm gonna do is just cut across right in here on the part that I wanna save and, and then we'll make two cuts, a cut here and a cut here. Neck. Needs to be trimmed up a little bit, but still. Good shape. All right, I'm gonna cut across here to discard that piece there. So I'm fixing to make another cut here to separate this now from the hams. See? Good bit of meat there. That's why I made that cut and saved that. Okay, now we have our ham. So I'm going to, just going to separate them. For later, we will slice them up, different things we're going to do. So now I'm just going to cut down through here with my saw. Hold it still. Now, all right. Now we have another special tool that we use right here for cutting these. We call this our loppers. Now come over here. I'm going to set these and just hang these right here and you cut them. Let them see what you're doing. Okay, let that hang. All right, let that hang. Now you take your knife. Now that the bone has been removed, just take it one little, one little cut. We appreciate you watching. If you would, please subscribe to our channel. Smash the like button and turn on your notification bell so we'll have more videos coming. We'll be showing you different things with our tractors, belling hay, different things are going on. We would love to share them with you, so if you would, please subscribe to our channel and have a blessed day. Thank you.